So this is the video tutorial on Ubuntu configuration. Um, Honeydew requires a configuration file like most other other um, you know Linux um, you know applications. Uh, I want to thank uh, Bala for um, creating a mind map uh, located at ba bullet dash Bala dot blogspot dot zero zero twenty thirteen ten Honeydew on nutshell HTML. Uh, what I've done is I just basically recreated his uh, mind map uh, on my machine. Also, just to demonstrate that uh, you know Ubuntu is quite awesome. You know, this f free software. You know, mind map software is part of the mix. Um, but the way this works is that um, your your configuration file requires you to use uh, you know certain templates uh, to set certain parameters for your honeypot. So. Um, when you configure, the first step is you need to create a default uh, template uh, and then indicate using the set command, you know, w w what is the default behavior from a protocol perspective and what actions should be taken. So I'm going to open up my my configuration file and just give you an idea of how this works. So <coughs> like I said, you need to create a default uh, uh, template and then indicate from a, a protocol point of view, TCP, UDP, ICMP, what action is it that you need to take. So in my, in my example, I actually block all, uh, you know, packets that come in from, uh, you know, towards my honeypot. Um, I then create a named template. So again, it's a create uh, and then the template name. Uh, I then also, in terms of the Cisco personality that I set here, I, I, I use a Cisco router running IS 12.8T. Uh, so I then set the TCP and UDP and ICMP actions. So that's a setting the template name, and then from a protocol perspective, what the default behavior should be. I actually block everything. Right. Then moving on to um, you know what I want to be uh, to have visible, uh, you know, to to an attacker or somebody uh, you know doing recon on my my honeypot, is that I want to add port 80 to be open. So, uh, and I also want Telnet to be open. So, in this configuration, I will actually use the add keyword, indicate the template name, uh, the protocol, and then the port number, and then the action that we need to take, either open or block or reset. Right, then moving on, um, from, a, from a Telnet point of view, you know, I don't use the open uh, uh, keyword. I what I'm telling Honeydew is that it needs to execute a pull script. Uh, this pull script is located under scripts uh, and it's called rootertelnet.pl. What's important to note in terms of the configuration is that you need to indicate the full directory listing and full uh, name, of, name of the file. So yeah, don't you just use pull you know, in this command. You need to indicate the entire directory where pull is actually located. And the same applies to the actual script. So the directories you need to include. Uh, the second last step is I set this template, uh, I go set the Ethernet MAC address, you know, to look something similar to, you know, what Cisco Systems is providing. You know, I've indicated earlier in this wiki that, uh, you know, I use the IEEE website to um, basically try and figure out, you know, what a legitimate, um, you know, MAC address needs to look like from a Cisco perspective. Now, I'm working in a lab environment. And uh, so it's it's quite difficult for me to go set static IPs, um, you know, for this environment. So the alternative that I have is that I can use DHCP for this template, uh, and then I, s uh, I set that to, you know, provide me a, a DHCP on Ethernet zero. So in terms of this configuration, yeah, uh, I can then add uh, instead of using bind, I just indicate DHCP on the template. Uh, on a specific, um, uh, you know, interface name. In my case, it's uh, eth, eth zero. Um, so this is this is the basic way that you need to go and uh, configure your honeypot. Uh, when I when I run this, and I'm going to run it in a second, uh, it will create a honeypot on a specific IP address given by my router, and we should see port 18, port 23 to be open. So let me quickly run Honey Honeydew. Uh, so I want to sudo Honeydew. I don't want it to, it to run as a background process, so I use the slash d command. All this, all this is available in the main pages, just by the way. Uh, the file I want to use for configuration is Honeydew or Honey Honeydew.conf. Uh, 
the log file is located under var log honeypot. Uh, let's call it log two dot log, and I also want to log the service events, so that would be under var log honeypot service. Let's call it service three because I have a service two log file already. Uh, so let's press enter. So what you'll notice that um, Honeydew will start listening promiscuously on Ethernet zero. It's then asking my router for a DHCP. Um, uh, uh, it sends a DHCP request to my router. The router then will respond with a an available IP address. In this case, it's going to be one nine two one six eight one dot nine. Um, it will then update the ARP binding, so it will bind the MAC address um, to point to, uh, you know, that ARP address. So if there's any request coming in from my lab environment to 192.168.199, uh, an ARP request will be sent out, the, the MAC address will be returned, and then the TCP packets will then start flying to Minipod. So this is a basic video to show you, you know, how to configure, um, you know, Honey D. You know, just from a command point of view, uh, the mind map I will include in the wiki um, uh, as well, and I'll demonstrate this on the that day that, that I need to demonstrate. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, you know, if you need more information, uh, a very nice, uh, um, you know, write up from Bala, you know, it's located on this specific URL, bulletbalablogspot.co.za. I need you on a nutshell.